Hey guys, it's 2 Charlie Ting and Mike again. Just thought I'd do a, um, another quick update on how things are going with us. Uh, just working on the single conversion superhead. So this one's working reasonably at the moment. It's currently sitting on 80 meters. Um, and on my last video, I said I was going to talk about, uh, well, I was thinking about redesigning the two IF amplifiers, the one leading into the crystal filter and the one leading out. Which I did, so just be for a very simple um, 3904 transistor, uh, looking for 50 ohms input, so set the beta RE here at 60 ohms, which resulted or required a, a, an IC current of 23 milliamps roughly, and then basically just did the maths to, to bring out the other components. Um, Simulated on LT Spice, which is certainly a really good program, and um, that worked out well. And then just basically built them up here. So, brought up four in the end. Um, decided to uh, run with some 10 nanofarad capacitors. Got a whole stack of those, so I wanted to start using those up, and they're working quite well. So, what I'll do next, I think, will be uh, start making up the transmit side. So, I'll just feed um, a mic amp into this particular mixer here with the BFO coming in. And then I'll just have uh, a set of the same filter design as on the receive side going back through on transmit with a couple of simple um, relays to switching in and out the crystal between the transmit and the receive side. But um, nothing fancy there, um, reasonably broadband, uh, just running with an inductor uh, on the collector as opposed to a, a matching transformer. Um, running with an old uh, XF92A uh, Yezu filter. Uh, 500 ohms uh, impedance or resistors there just to uh, to match it and uh, as you can hear that's oops, sorry there that's uh, working really well it's going back the other side now 80 meters is a bit noisy here so yeah they're working out really well and um, I think I mentioned last time the homebrew DBMs um, they work really well too actually so we, we worked quite hard to match the um, the 4148s to uh, get the same Ford um, voltage drop or resistance basically uh, and like I say that's those are working really really well um, disconnected the audio amp here and just been playing around with with uh, a um, an NE 5534P here the low noise op amp leading into a uh, an LM 380N so just sort of playing around with that circuit there just getting the biasing right between the, the game between the two stages um, so yeah, I, I might sort of stick with with those particular chips, or I may look at um, designing a, a, maybe a, a push pull amplifier just for for the sake of doing it. Um, other than that, might look to, might look to redesign uh, the old J bot. Um, I've had this going for quite a while now and uh, works really well. So two TN three hundred five threes, the driver leading into four. Um, BD139s in a push pull arrangement and uh, that works really well and that was that was quite happy putting out 5 watts which is what I want to do, I'm, I'm running into QRP so I may love to rebuild that and tie it up but otherwise um, yeah things are working well so uh, if anybody's got any questions just sing out and I can try and elaborate on things but otherwise I'll keep you posted and uh, like I say next steps I think we'll be getting the transmit side up so we'll design up an, a mic amp uh, I'll utilise those and then may may have to require another a preamp leading into here, but I should be okay with the gain I'm getting out of these. These are set up for um, 10 times voltage gain, so um, I'm getting those quite happily in these Class A amplifiers. It's looking really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, like I say, sing out. ZL2, Charlie, take a mic.